Hello everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank all of you who watched the previous video about the 20 top castor oil brands that I researched. You know, I was so confused what kind of brand is good because I bought a wrong one and I go, I need to make sure I'm getting the right castor oil. So I thought I may as well share the fruits of my research. So thank you to all of you who watched the video and to those who sent me emails to send them the PDF. I hope you're loving the list, the links on there, and I hope that the list is helping you decide which is good for you. Of course, feel free to ask your doctor or people you trust as to what is best for your skin. But those are the top brands that came out in my research. And honestly, after I made that research, I knew exactly what I was going to get. And this episode is all about how to store your castor oil. Once you have it, you know, we're very choosy about what to buy. We better make sure we store it properly. Otherwise, it loses its efficacy. So here we go. Welcome everyone to my channel. This is actually a continuation of the filming that I did, but I didn't want my episode to be very long, so I cut it into two. The first one featured the top 20 castor oil brands that I researched, and this one is about ways on how you can store your castor oil so that you preserve its efficacy, it's not exposed to the sun, and things like that. So here's part two of my castor oil feature. And if you want a copy of the information that I'm giving you through this video, then you know where to find me, wishuponapun at gmail.com. And I will send you the information. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, don't forget to smash the like button. Share this because someone might be already storing their castor oil the wrong way. So you better tell them, stop, stop, stop. Don't store it that way because you want to preserve your castor oil. Listen to this 62-year-old lady. <laughs> and now my tips on how to store, where to store your castor oil to preserve its quality. Here are the keywords. Cool, dark, and dry. Bathroom cabinet. Refrigerator, especially if you live in a hot climate. Drawer or box, especially if you have very limited space. The cool temperature helps to slow down the oxidation process and prevent the oil from going rancid. You want to check your oil for spoilage because, of course, you don't want to use spoiled oil on your skin, especially because castor oil will penetrate your skin. Here are the ways to check that your castor oil is still fresh and not spoiled. Number one, odor. Castor oil typically has a mild, nutty scent. If you notice a rancid or foul odor coming from the oil, it's a sign that it has to go bye-bye-bye, right? Second, appearance. I would think that it's really good to familiarize yourself with your oil once you receive it. Take a photo so that you know how it looks. And then down the road, you can compare if it still looks the same. Inspect the oil for any unusual color changes. Fresh castor oil is usually transparent or slightly yellowish. Any noticeable discoloration, such as a darker or cloudy appearance, may indicate spoilage. That's why when you're getting castor oil from the bottle, do not touch the rim of the bottle. Once you've put oil on your fingertips, there will be some oil left on the rim. That's okay. Just let it stand right away, and then I wipe off any excess oil around the rim, but not on the rim itself. Because I don't want Kleenex, cotton, or my skin touching the very rim of the oil. Number three, consistency. Fresh castor oil has a smooth and slightly thick texture. If you observe clumps, separation, or a thickening of the oil, it could be a sign of spoilage. Castor oil is very clear. It's very thick. And of course, this is very obvious when you see growing molds or bacteria. But oh my gosh, I'm imagining though that for your oil or any product to have bacteria or mold, it's because you've had it sitting there unused for a long, long time. And yes, anything that's expired or smelling bad, just throw them away because your skin is worth all the tender, loving care. I also place a link in the description as to how to identify spoiled castor oil. You know, my goal is to share with you my story, to share with you how things work for me, how I got to this age and why I love what I do. I used to teach children on the side, so I love sharing information. 
and that's why I'm here. So if you haven't clicked that button yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to do so because I put content that empowers us, makes us feel good about ourselves, skin, fashion, makeup, dressing up, mental health, healthy living, you know, anything that boosts our morale especially if we are getting a little bit older right we want to know and we want to sometimes we want to prove to ourselves that we still have it right we still got it even if we have gray hair wrinkles spots we're menopausal we're dry skin dry arms dry neck who cares right we are aging beautifully and we can because we feel good about ourselves if you haven't followed me on my social media platforms, don't forget I have an Instagram account, The Real D, TikTok, The Real D, Facebook page, Building Self Esteem on Social Media, and of course, this YouTube channel of mine. I hope to see you again in my next video. Thank you for watching. Remember, store your castor oil properly. You want to put only the freshest, most potent, most active, most effective castor oil on your skin. Bye.